Come, 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 What is up, guys? It's me, Eric B. And finally, I have a beautiful weekend of riding ahead of me. Weather decided to uh, to clear up and uh, be nice. I hope you all are doing well this fine weekend. And uh, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see all my new content. And uh, also hit that notification bell. But I am about to head downtown to a couple of events and uh, see what's going on down there. Um, we got some stuff going on in a couple different spots. I just got my new piece of GPR helmet. Got the 2016 uh, Rossi Saluna graphic on it. Um, this thing is awesome. It just feels a little weird talking into the mic right now because <laughs> my cheeks are super tight. But that's a good thing. Always want a tight helmet. But uh, I'm going to talk about that on the way up here. Um, coming up. Alright, let's get going here. Alright, so as you already know, I have the uh, AGV K1. That helmet's not too bad. Uh, this helmet f feels a lot better uh, as far as the fitment goes compared to my K1. So, my measurement, I, I went off their measurement, and I'm a 54 or 55 centimeter um, on the measurement, so I got, I got a P head. Um, but I bought a size small in uh, the K1, and in this helmet I decided to go an extra small, because uh, even with a small, I still feel like it, uh, it moves around a little bit. It's not completely as tight as I want it to be. And uh, with this helmet, it, when I first put it on, just because it's brand new and you gotta kind of break the pads in, it, I thought it wasn't gonna fit. I thought I was gonna have to return it. But I decided to uh, keep it, wear it around the house for a little bit, kind of see if there's any hot spots or anything, um, if there's any discomfort, and it was, it was pretty good. So I've been wearing it for a little over a week, um, almost two weeks now and it, it fits perfectly. It doesn't move um, or anything like that. It's a little tight around the cheeks, but I think it's supposed to be that way. And uh, yeah, so fitment overall is, uh, is pretty good. So the, the vision or my, my, uh, my field of view in this helmet is awesome compared to my other one. I mean, I can see when I turn my head and all around, and even when I'm in the tuck position, I can see everything a lot better. And the visor is uh, the visor is a lot thicker as well, so no complaints there. Man, what am I doing here? I don't even remember what gear I'm in. Now, for the price of this helmet, it is ridiculously expensive. So this helmet is uh, $1,500, I believe, but I got it on a closeout for about 700 bucks. Um, which is way cheaper. Um, I don't think I would have probably paid $1,500 for a helmet. The uh, the K1 is uh, 275, I believe. <laughs> Bought that one a little while ago, but uh, I think that's one of the things that might steer some people away is the price. But I mean, what you're what you're paying for is a really lightweight helmet, which this helmet is. Half the time, this thing doesn't really feel like it, I even have anything on my head. Um, but it's it's completely made of carbon fiber. Um, and then just the uh, just the the strength and durability, the the things you get with this helmet, you get a hydration system with it as well, um, which I'll never use. <laughs> um, and then just the visor system, it's really easy to take on and off. Um, it just detaches with uh, little levers on the sides. Um, because I was also looking at getting the uh, the Atlas, the Ruroc Atlas helmet. I didn't like how you have to use a uh, Allen key to, to take that off, to take the visor on and off. Um, let's see, what else with this helmet? It fits good all the way around um, your neck and everything. So uh, I kind of like how that is, keeping the wind out. And just overall, this helmet is badass. Like, it looks good. I like the spoiler in the back. 
and everything. I wanted the black carbon um, with the gold shield, but uh, like I said before, I wasn't gonna pay $1,500 for a helmet. And the chin strap um, is the same. It still uses the D-rings and everything like that. Um, no difference there. But yeah, if you're looking to get a badass helmet for the, you know, I mean, is this a little extensive for the street? Probably, but I mean, it's my money. You know, I, I wanted to get it because it looks cool and it's it's uh, it's lightweight and it's very durable. I know it's a good helmet, very good for the track. Um, I still need to get a pin lock visor for my this this visor that I'm wearing right now, just because it fogs up a little bit when it's cold out. Um, it comes with a clear visor and it comes with a uh, a pin lock uh, insert as well. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, now, as far as noise goes, you definitely need earplugs with this visor. I, uh, it came with earplugs, but I normally wear earplugs anyway, just because I don't like all the, uh, the wind noise and then it keeps the exhaust noise down too. But in this helmet, you can definitely, definitely tell there's a difference and you, get, you need earplugs. All right, guys, that was a quick and down and dirty of this helmet. Um, nothing too special, but just wanted to tell you guys how this thing is. I'm heading over to these events now. I'm gonna get some uh, footage of that. Some B-roll. And let me know what you guys think about the helmet down in the comments below. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention with this helmet is it has this uh, cool little locking mechanism. So like you can, it doesn't stay all the way open. Um, once you start going faster, it, cl it closes down on you. Um, so I guess these, uh, the things on the side here, I don't really know the proper name for them, but it doesn't hold the visor open very well at speeds. But once you get it down, it clips in and then the visor won't come open at all. So that, that's pretty cool. So sometimes I forget, I'm trying to open it up and I forget that I have to push the button to unlock the visor to get it open. Another good uh, safety piece is if you go down and uh, you're unconscious or something like that. And th this is, like I said, this is really built for racing. Um, to not disturb the spine or anything. It has some uh, handles underneath, like a quick uh, release to pull the, uh, the padding out. Um, so that way you can get the helmet off. All right, guys, I'm almost here to cycle gear. One of the first events I'm gonna stop at. Try to get some, uh, some sweet B-roll if I can. See what the turnout's looking like. Here we are. What's up guys? So I made it. I'm at the event here at uh, Cycle Gear. So you can see we got car wash going on. And we also got uh, some guys doing a cookout, a little fris uh, fish fry, excuse me. This is pretty dope. Got the Ducati 899. This thing is pretty sick. ZX10R. Got another Jixxer right here. K4. BMW S1000. There was a ton more bikes here earlier. We had some cruisers, had a bunch of other sport bikes, but a lot of them rolled out already. But yeah, it's the first meetup I've been to in a while. Every time I try to go out, nobody's around. But you don't even know me. I've been 
out here on my own I've been out, I've been grinding all alone Yeah, Get up at night, we can pour out the wine I got cash on my mind, yeah I don't really mind And I don't have the time, every day I go out Every day a new route, that you know nothing about, no Why always me? Like that, I go from riding a motorcycle, motor vlogging to Thomas the train conductor with my kids. Oh, hi.